Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. We don't often begin with a lighter story, but today we're doing just that. As we all know, criminals aren't always the brightest bulbs in the box. Well, earlier today, desperate to get away from police hot on their trail, two bumbling robbers threw the only thing they could at the police chasing them. That's right, the money they'd just stolen. Talk about throwing your money away. Unfortunately, the suspects evaded the police. We were sent some sketches of the criminals, but due to technical difficulties, are not able to share them with you tonight. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. In a nutshell, voting for Flores equals voting for violence. Don't vote for violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. Take a good hard look. And that has been the Sonia Show. see you. The cops. They transferred me out of you know where. The the iron pits where Tyrex sends all the crossers. They're brainwashing and torturing kids. I saw it. Get get the van keys from the cops. But you'll need to to distract them somehow. Then come back here. Thank you.
Know how many times I've called for a tow this year? I don't. Guess how many times? Fine. Three times. Nope. Four times. Can you believe it? What do you want, kid? Their van broke down, I think. A kid like you shouldn't stick around here. Know that? I most definitely am not. These protesters. Wish there was some way we could just ship them out. going on I see someone over there let's check it out that kid did this she can't get me far I'll check behind the station you got the keys the keys for the handcuffs they should be inside. Come, come on! Get ready to run! Stop! Hands where I can see him! I didn't mean for this to happen. You gotta believe me. This country is so messed up. Go back to my father. Uh, to jail, and possibly... I'll, I'll get my dad to save you. I'll, I'll say... I don't know what I'll say. Look, maybe... Maybe you should rest. You'll feel better. Just... Just try to get some sleep. And... When you wake up, I'll know what to do, okay? <gasps> you hear that? See you in hell! Gone, but they'll be back and with friends. Lucky we intercepted their comms. Check the van, the girl must be inside. Please don't hurt us. Got a second kid in here. The less you know, the better. You can. 
but Zoe, you should come with us. Wait, how do you know my name? Did my father send you? <laughs> Definitely not. We'll explain later, but right now, you two have to split up. You... you... you risk your life for me. Yeah, maybe. Zoe, we have to go! I, uh... I hope I get to see you again. messing with the connection. But don't worry, prepubescent Einstein here is gonna fix it. Help me a sec, homegirl. I got a bug I need to fix. A small tech issue, no big deal. When it comes to bugs, homie here is exterminator numero uno. Who are you talking to? Don't sweat it, Mr. Yu. It's just a hitchhiker. Mr. Ursus, he's a friend of mine. Take this computer. I put a metal detector on it. Check the ground near the pole over there. Should be some hidden keys to open the box and reboot the line. Petra Calm hides their keys like a dog hides a bone. gonna say. The fake emitters are all in place. Should keep those pigs busy for a while. Thanks, Alex. I put up some fake radio emitters to help the brigades. The supposed terrorist group who caused the attack in 86. I gotta run, Alex. Wait, wait, my parents. Sorry, kid. Now's not the time. We'll talk soon, okay? Promise. Don't hang up! Yo, press the button again! Hello? Too late. He's gone. Just a little frustrated. I'm looking for info on my bio parents. And they died when I was young, in the attack in 86. But I haven't come up with much. Thanks. My mom, I mean my adoptive mom, said I might not find out anything, but I didn't believe her. She's at home or on the road doing her job. Come on, let's wait out the rain in the booth. I... I don't know. 
Yeah, well, I guess you're right. Precinct 22, Officer Fanny. Hello? Alex, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is everything okay? What do I say? Everything's fine. I just wanted to check in. Are you getting enough to eat? You are, right? And you can come back whenever you want. You know that. Yeah, I'm getting enough to eat. Thanks. I... I hope you find what you're looking for. I miss you, Alex. I... I miss you too. Look, I should go. Oh, already? Just don't come looking for me, okay? I won't. Promise. Bye. Bye, baby. Come on. It's cramped in here. I feel better now. Thanks for encouraging me to call. Totally, dog. Never seen anything like it in all my 14 years. How do they make you feel? are hyper complicated. I still have a few things to clean up around here. By the way, there's a cereal bar in my bag if you want. You look hungry. Oh, and I can call you a taxi too. I hacked into Happy Taxi, because I can, and got some free ride vouchers. It's as good as done. And good luck on your journey, yo. Hope you reach 96. Taxi. Then just north it is. Now sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. Customer, I'm sorry for the mess. He left that behind, too. Me, too. Not a lot gets by you, I can tell. By the way, 
Everything I'm telling you is the truth. We're called Happy Taxi, but we could be called Honest Taxi, too. Maybe you have some questions about the road. I can help you with those. Hmm. You could say I'm not a fan. shouldn't be this close to me. Now sit back and stay seated. Enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. No. Turn the music up now. Do you like dinosaurs? Did you say something?
good, flipping tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? You changing the subject on me? Well, if you got any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. Oh yeah? Then have at it, kid. What are you? A tire whisperer? Stop there. The pump's behind you. You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, just my luck. Come on, follow me. Yes? They don't bother me unless it gets violent. Well, make sure you get registered. It's been a bad summer, really. Sorry. I just have a lot on my mind. With you? <laughs> That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. I, I knew something that he didn't, a secret. And when I told him, he got upset. They really can be. You're right. I told him who his biological parents were, or as much as I know about them anyway. I always told him I didn't know. I was lying. It was hard on him too because of who they were. They were members of the Black Brigades. the terrorist group responsible for the attack at the wall. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Yeah, I was working security to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me.
I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. I do. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you.
Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? What are you doing here alone? Don't be one of those kids sneaking into a truck. Believe me, he'll never make it. Now be careful out there, you hear? Sure work loads in. Are you registered? Everything looks in order. We can head inside. Only the most honest citizens will pass. Your number will be displayed behind me. When it appears, it's your turn. Your test results will also be displayed there. So pay attention! There are certain requirements you need to know. Only married persons with at least one child can rightfully apply. Your contract, if you pass, will last for five years. No more, no less. Last. The majority of your pay will be sent back to your homeland. Your number will soon be displayed. Bless our beautiful nation! Begin. Question one. What is your candidate number? Question two. How old is your eldest child? Question three. If you pass, how long will your stay abroad be? Question four. What age would your eldest child be when you return from abroad? Question five, are you, or have you ever been, a black brigade? Question six, have you ever listened to illegal radio stations? Be honest. Question seven, when did the black brigade terrorist attack occur? Question nine, who is our great president? Question 11. Which of the following do you enjoy the most? Last question. Have you answered all questions truthfully? I already know, but I want to hear it from you. You can now wait for your test results in the waiting room. Hopefully you'll not be arrested. Good day. to take this test.
That wasn't really a compliment. Don't worry, I won't. God, I hope he passes us. Number 13, you have passed. Stand up and leave. And may you well represent our blessed nation. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. Their journeys have only just begun.